again. You will see me again on this section. I'm. This is a. Okay, my title is the Past and Future Hokkien Language. The language code is NAN, NAN, on Wikimedia projects. And I'm Dennis from Taiwan. My online ID is Superplex. I'm an OpenStreetMap and Wikidata contributor, and also on the board member of Wikimedia Taiwan. And so, in some previous speech, I talk about that the ZH Minan Wikipedia in Chinese is called Minari Wikibike. It is uh, not a very active Wikimedia project. And but recently in Taiwan, we had a language revelation about the Taiwanese Tagi, that there's more people willing to speak in Tagi or would uh, write in written form a Tagi. And so it should be a change for the Wikimedia Pedia NNN that we should do more on this platform. Yeah. And previously, that in Minari Wikibike, Wikipedia and then Wikipedia is more emphasized of the POJ. It's a Latin form of written. But actually, you can also written in and handy the Chinese characters is possible. And it is allowed by the community uh, standards. So in this uh, previous talk and also this section, we want to recruit more people to contribute on a NNN Wikipedia. OK, it might be quite a cut, but for the Nanangu or Yashi, Hokkien language, not only in the uh, Fujian, southern part of Fujian in Taiwan, but also in the Southeast Asia. There are some different size of speaking populations speaking this language, and it's called different names. In Taiwan, it's also called that Dai Yi or Taiwanese Dai Yi, or in China, it's called Melangu. And the Southeast Asia is called Hokkien Wei. Fujianhua, or yeah, and the uh, Philippines it is called Lan Langui, Ding Ding Le, yeah. Okay, here's a basic statistics about this language, which has different names in different countries or areas, and it has a total. If you just count the mother tongue speaker, it's a four, 48 million speakers, distributed around China, Taiwan. Philippines, the Philippines, uh, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, and also Indonesia. Yeah, it is a minority language in the Philippines, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. But, Thai, but in Thailand, some, I think some part of this population are Cantonese. No, no, not Cantonese, it's the Chaozhou Hua uh, descent. Yeah. Okay. In the past, the Taiwanese government has a one central Mandarin policy, just encourage this language as a formal form or language. That in the education system and also the law system in the in the government center, and it's only only Mandarin is out in the education system, but. The tiny Taiki uh, population is quite huge. So, in the entertainment system, like we still has a populist Taiki sounds or drama market. There are so many people are watching, even for in, not only in Taiwan but also in Southeast Asia. And it is also the rival marketing language that is spoken when you uh, when you want to cut down the price, you will speak in Taiki. And right now, in two thousand no no and one. Uh, 1993, this is the end of one language policy enforced by the Taiwanese government. It is uh, once there is a limit broadcasting time for those non-Mandarin language in Taiwan. And after this year, we have a, we are all right to, if you have a market, you can broadcast in Tagi, Hakka, or Taiwanese uh, form of languages. And we also had the Taiwanese Tagi language test, 
One is held by the Minister of Education, other is by the Natural Chenggong University. And in 2017, we have passed the law that the Development of Natural Language Act, in Chinese it's called Guojia Yuan Fa Zhan Fa, that is passed in this year. That not only Mandarin, other languages speaking in Taiwan should be one of the natural languages. That also include those Taiwanese Formosa languages. Yeah, and we also we have a population written in POJ or written in uh, Taiwanese Dagi Handi. And we also have some online dictionaries. Some are using the source from the Minister of Education Dictionary or some other forms that is published years ago by those, uh, maybe the church system that have the Taiwanese Dagi Dictionary. It's also available online. And recently I've discovered that the PTS Dagi station, that the public station in Taiwan, they have a Taiwanese Dagi station. They launched this Tai Yu Xin Si Ci Ku that will uh, decide which the new concept or new terms that they will have someone, in, researcher in charge to collect this term and decide what it should be called in Taiwanese Dagi. Okay, and this is a uh, other drama going on that there are so many various uh, NNN Banangu or Taiwanese Dagi around Taiwan, China, Southeast Asia. So that year, and I think it's 2021, there's a split proposal for the NNN ISO 639-3 that we should split this NNN language code into 11 different language codes, such as Leizhou Ming, Hainanese, Haklo, Da Tian Ming, Zhongshan, and Zhuanzhou, Zhenan Ming, Diu Suan, Zhang, uh, Zhongshan Ming, these 11. These should be split into 11 code. But right now, it's still in pending state. They haven't have a meeting to decide if it should be split or not. So it's still ongoing. Okay, I mentioned this because they might, someone will argue that why there is no uh, independent like Chaozhou language uh, Wikipedia or Taiwanese Dagi Wikipedia of a Southeast Asia Ming Wikipedia. And I have to uh, say that the for the Wikimedia Foundation policy, if you want to have an independent Wikipedia site, you should have an independent language code. So someone in Taiwan doesn't like the name uh, Mingnan, Mingnangu, so they decide we should, Taiwanese Daigi should have a separate language code. And if it's, it is possible for have a new code, language code for Taiwanese Daigi, then it's possible to have a separate Taiwanese Daigi uh, Wikipedia site. Okay, this is already mentioned several sites ago. Here's you can have a quick look at those those different names about this NNN language. This is they have different names, but it's quite have different kind of a language uh, language uh, exchange ability to speak. Speak in Singapore. You, if you speak in Taiwanese Dagi, it might have the chance you can talk to the locals. Okay, here we go to Wikimedia uh, content. We had the Mingnan Wikipedia. That is, I think most of the contributors are from Taiwan. So they use the Taiwanese uh, Dagi written system. Maybe POJ, Tairo, or the Handi uh, characters. And also on Wikidata, we have the ability to write in POJ or in Handi, read uh, labels and descriptions. And we also have a Wikidata lexicon that is possible to make a dictionary on the Wikidata ecosystem. And we have Wikidictionary, we have the English, Chinese, and the Mingnan Wikidictionary that can, we can cover the Mingnan or Daigi content. Okay, this is a typical uh, Manangu Wikipedia articles that is, look like this one. It's a written in POJ form. It's a Latin form of the Dagi or Manangu uh, content. 
this is the county and the east southeast part of Taiwan is called Taidong uh, County. But due to the not that active community in NAN Wikipedia, the contents are not that that big. Okay, here is um yeah. Uh, the problem of the Wikipedia and then Wikipedia. And once over a time, once upon a time, there's a very strong POJ force on the internet Wikipedia. That is, they're more encouraged POJ written form. They kind of just suppress the handy uh, people that they discourage it to contribution. Even though the community has some concerns that you can both written and POJ, but also in handy uh, way, way. And for the types of content on and then Malangu, Wikipedia, there are so many countries or administration's articles. There are not so many like the new concept like science, uh, social science, that kind of stuff. And the worst part is we didn't have a much uh, bigger, big community or a doable community to, to do it. Okay, and even the, those uh, span company, uh, take advantage of the Malangu Wikipedia that there's, they're inserting some spam articles on this platform to, pro, to increase their SEO ranking by adding some randomness, not relative uh, content on the Malangu Wikipedia. Okay, even we have done some imported on the Malangu and then Wikipedia that uh, have some duplicate items created on Wikipedia. And then this is other cases that we have thousands of articles not linked on Wikidata. Some are duplicated, so we have to merge these uh, duplicated Wikipedia articles. Yeah. Okay, this is on, on my previous talk, I uh, talked about there are some duplicate uh, Wikipedia articles on Melangu Wikipedia that is uh, Taipei City's village. But in this case, they all are solved and linked to the correct Wikipedia items. Okay, this is the uh, Taipei City's uh, duplicate village case. It's already fixed. And this is good news on Wikidata. We not only the possible to written in POJ form, the Latin form of writing Melangu, but also the possible to writing in Handy. And here's an overview for the southern Sinetic language that Hakka, Mindong, they all have POJ form and Handy form to written their language. Yeah. And also on Wikidata, the ecosystem has a lexamen that, in, that can include it, the Mangu Dagi terms on site on the Wikidata. We're working quite hard to increase the lexemens size. And also it is possible to include it, those various uh, different accents, like D. There's also other pronunciation do that's possible to store on by the Wikidata lexemens. On the sister project, OpenStreetMap, Map, we have the possibility to add in not only the POJ, but also the handy uh, Dagi name on the platform. This is uh, something I'm doing on the OpenStreetMap, adding some name places, places around Taipei City, the name of this place in Dagi, not only POJ, but also in handy form. Okay, then here's a plan for the Melangu Wikipedia that is we should establish more handy articles because it is part of the whole history for the, uh, the language. Not only POJ, but also it should be include handy articles. And we should uh, make the administrative units uh, articles parts much lower because we have some new concept like science. They should be also written in on Wikipedia. And we also have established Telegram group, Wikimedia Nan, to uh, gather more contributors and doing some collaborations. 
between online. And also, you have to deal with the duplicate items on the mainland Wikipedia. OK, this is an example of the then down Chinese Wikipedia. We have some different regional varieties, like some movies in Hong Kong are called a name. Some movies in Taiwan is called other name. Then it should be, we're using a, it's quite a manual translation, transcribed system to convert the content to those, uh, to different Chinese variants. On, uh, on Malangu, Wikipedia, it should have some kind of the adaption of the system to deal with the different regional ancients or terms difference. Okay, here is my end of the slides. I will be around here for quite a while. You can have any question, you can, yeah. Thank you, everybody.